there buddy uh, I've had a few emails here recently uh, about people that are asking me once they've got their uh, CNC machine built how they can add a fourth axis or a rotary axis uh, to their machine and you know they're asking me about breakout boards and stuff like that and you can certainly do it that way but I thought I would uh, rather than try to answer everybody's email uh, you know, I just do a little quick video and try to show people how uh, I do it with a, uh, you know, using the Xylotech uh, four axis control. So you've already got a control. If you know, if you purchase that one, which is what I spec'd out in the, my plans, um, you know, you've already got a, a controller that will handle four axis. So you don't really need to buy a breakout board if you do it this way. And I just wanted to take a minute and, and show you how I how I do it. Okay, if you built the uh, your CNC from the, the plans that uh, that I gave out, uh, you know your your CNC is basically set up like mine. You've got uh, four stepper motors. Uh, one, of course, is on the Z. Uh, on mine, I have one on this axis, which I call the X axis. You might call it the Y on yours. And then I have two stepper motors in the back there that run my Y axis. I have the yellow uh, color coded wire going to that motor over there, which the yellow is for the Y. And then over here I have the blue uh, color coded wire, which is for the fourth axis or the A axis. And of course I have those slaved together to make my Y move in sync. Now when you're going to use a, uh, a rotary attachment, uh, I'm going to uh, cut the camera off here in a minute and I'll set mine up here and I'll show you how I set it up and how it's very easy using Mach 3 because basically what you're doing is you set up two different profiles. One profile that I have, I just call it CNC router and when I load that one in, it has all the parameters set for my X, Y, and Z axis. It knows that the Y and the A are slaved together to move the Y. And that's my, that's my profile for my CNC router. When I want to run uh, my lathe attachment or my rotary axis, uh, I then load another profile. And you'll see how, dude, I'll try to take the camera and show it on the screen there so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, let, me get my, let me get the rotary axis set up here and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've got my little rotary attachment set up here and I've just got some lines on my table uh, that I can line it up with to make sure that it's parallel with the uh, x-axis here. And now all I have to do is move my, uh, you know, jog the y until I get it where the the uh, the tool here is in the same center line as the uh, as the little rotary attachment here. <laughs> Okay, now that I've got this already lined up, and of course I don't have a piece of work piece in here, but I do have a piece of tape on here so you can see this move. But now that I've got this lined up, when you think about it, I really don't need to move this y-axis anymore. So what I can do is I can load a different profile in, which will now use just the x, the z, and the a-axis, which you can see here I've got a, st a, st a stepper motor already attached to this little uh, rotary axis here. And what I can do is I can shut my power off and connect the A axis to here. And then when I turn it back on, I'll load the other profile. And now I've got this, the A axis, instead of being slaved to the Y, it is now an active axis by itself. And it's set to angular instead of linear. So let me cut the camera off and I'll uh, show you how I set that up. Okay, what I've done is I've removed my two panels over here so I can get to the back of this machine. I'm going to make sure I've got my controller turned off. You don't want to unplug these or plug them in with the uh, controller on. So I'm going to now I'm going to unplug the blue color coded wire. And I don't know if you can see this in it shot or not but there's actually like a blue thing here so I'm gonna now move this wire up here and connect it to my a axis okay just making sure
sure I got that connection right. So now, let me move the camera and I'll show you how I can close this out and open up my other profile. Okay, this is the CNC profile and you can tell when I look at the general configuration here, the A-axis is angular, but see how that's unchecked, so that's showing that it's linear and that's the way I need it for uh, when I'm using the, um, the CNC router. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this out and then I'll come over here to the Mach 3 and I'll open it up and it has a list of the, the different profiles. Well, I think I called this one Machine 2, so I can click on that. Okay, and now we can uh, reference this and notice that the Y is not referenced, it's showing red there, and that's because it's not being used. You've got the X, Z, and the fourth axis, which is going to be the A axis. And also on this profile, if I come over here to the general configuration, you now see that the A axis is angular and that box is checked. So I've got it set up for uh, using the A axis. And they're showing the, uh, the settings for the A-axis there. Okay, so I think maybe you can see now how easy it is to use this. You're basically just taking the, uh, one of the motors that you're not using and changing that to your A-axis, setting a different machine profile up in Mach 3. And now you can see when I uh, jog this A-axis, you can see that thing spinning around. Okay, so I hope that answers some of the questions about adding a uh, rotary axis or using the A axis with your CNC machine. Again, if you want to use the breakout board and, and do that, you can. It's just more stuff you have to buy. And, you know, with this way, like I said, most of the time when you're using something like this little lathe attachment, you're not really going to use the Y because once you get it set on the zero in line with this center line here, you're not going to use that axis anyway, so you don't need it. So you can just set another profile up in Mach 3 and, uh, you know, be able to uh, run your rotary axis with the with the four-axis controller that you got. Uh, that's one of the neat things about using a Xylotex, a Xylotex four-axis control uh, kit is because uh, you've got four axes you can control, even though you're only using really three of them when you're using a CNC router. So anyway, so I hope that cleared up the questions. Uh, if anybody has any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them and answer them or maybe do another video or something. Um, you know, if you need some help setting up your other profile, uh, I can give you the settings that I use and you know, you can tweak those or whatever. Uh, I really haven't used this much. This is just a, a little prototype that I built about two years ago. And there's an old video uh, I did a little over two years ago, which uh, you know shows how I'm using this, and you can see a sample uh, part that I'm running. So I'll put the link to that uh, down below in the description, uh, and you can check that out as well if you haven't already watched that. So anyway, thanks again for all my new subscribers. I uh, appreciate all of those. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, please hit the like button down below. Uh, as always, you can go to my website, uh, which the link is down below in the description, and check out the free plans and, and things that are available there. Uh, and anyway, just uh, thanks for uh, thanks for all your support. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.